All right, Mario, we got ourselves an interesting story here. Uh, it's a bit of it's a bit of unfortunate news uh, for former Louisville basketball assistant coach Gino Gadio. Uh, he has been charged with one federal count of attempting to extort money and other things of value from the university. Um, he's also being charged with interstate communication with attempt to extort. So basically, Mario, what's going on here? And it's a lot, Mario. It, it's it's it, it's interesting. So let's get into it. Uh, according to a charge, the deal threatened to report to the media allegations that the University of Louisville men's basketball program has violated the NCAA rules in its production of recruiting videos for pers- uh, for prospective student athletes and its use of graduate assistance in practice. Unless the University of Louisville paid the deal his salary for an additional 17 months or provided the lump sum equivalent of 17 months of salary. So basically what he was trying to do, Mario, was unless if he, you know, if he didn't get his money, he was going to he was gonna basically blackmail his school, which that's just, that's absolutely some insane stuff, Mario. So let's continue. Uh, later that day, Gadil sent a text message to the University of Louisville personnel containing one of the recruiting videos he was threatening to send to the media. And that text message traveled outside of Kentucky, which is why he's being charged with interstate communication with the attempt to extort. Uh, and that was according to the government. Um, and I have a quote from Louisville officials. He's, it said in that quote, as detailed in the charging document, after the deal was informed that his contract would not be renewed, he threatened to inform members of the media of alleged NCAA violations within the men's basketball pro- program unless he was paid a significant sum of money. The allegations of, of violations are the impermissible production of recruiting videos for prospective student athletes in the and impermissible use of graduate managers and practices and workouts. While the university cannot comment further due to the ongoing federal investigation and the NCAA process, it continues to cooperate with authorities as well as with the NCAA on the matter. Uh, and a little bit on um, Dino Gadillo himself. He was a former ESPN analyst, and he spent three seasons under Louisville coach Chris Mack, and he decided to replace him and, and his other assistant, Luke Mary, uh, Luke Murray, excuse me, in March, after the disappointing year the team had this year. Um, and I have a quote from Gadillo's attorney, Brian Butler. It says in that quote, while he was not renewed, he was hurt. He became angry. And in the course of that, he made statements he regrets. Unfortunately, those statements were taken. He was not given an opportunity to walk them back. They were turned over to law enforcement. Of course, uh, Coach Gadillo takes full responsibility for his actions and lack of judgment and the statements he made in a very heated situation. He apologizes to his family and friends for his actions and hopes that everyone will consider his 40 years and good of good and all the contributions he has made. Um, and Gadia was facing up to two years in prison and is eligible for probation. Um, and I have a quote from coach Chris Mack himself. It says, and I quote, while I cannot comment on the details or substance, uh, substance of the matter, I am grateful for the professionalism of members of law enforcement in the United States attorney's office. The university and I were the victims of Coach Gadillo's conduct and I will continue to fully cooperate with authorities in their investigation. We take serious any we take seriously any allegations of NCAA violations within our basketball program. We will work with the NCAA processes to fully review the allegation. Um, so let me continue with this, Mario. But first, before I do, I just want to say this article was written by Mark Salabak and Myron Medcalf. So let me go first, okay? This is absolutely unbelievable, Mario. This this school gives you a job. You're getting paid by them. You don't get renewed, but now you're mad. Now you want to blackmail your school if you don't give you money. That's basically what I'm getting out of this, correct? That, that That's basically what I'm getting out of this. What's the point? You know, and going back to what his um, attorney said, that he regrets it and there's no going back. Damn right there ain't no going back because now you're facing prison time. You know what I mean? What the hell is wrong with you? You know what I mean? Like, like this, this Kentucky was, the Kentucky was, um, what's the word? What's the word I want to use? They were kind enough to give you a job, right? But now that you're out of a job because you didn't do a good job, you didn't do what you were supposed to do. Now you're mad. Now you want to. Now you. Now you're gonna steal from the school or, or extort money from the school. Then you're going to threaten that they were doing this and that if they didn't pay you this much. So basically, you're trying to steal from the school and, and, and blackmail them at the same time because you didn't get your money. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my freaking God. This is what the world has come to. This is what greed does to you, people. This is what greed does to you. It makes you do things that's going to get you behind bars. And I'm going to be honest with you, Mario. He's going to go behind bars. He is. 
Now again, he's facing two years of he's facing two years in prison. Is eligible for probation. He's he's going to prison, Mario. He, he's going to go to prison. I can I can see that happening. You know, um, and I feel bad for the school. You know, this is something they shouldn't have to go through. You know, and that's the thing when it comes to coaches. And this is something that Dino Gadio does not understand. If you do not do your job as a coach, if your team plays poorly, who does that reflect on? The coaches, because that's your team to run. You tell the players to do this and that. The players have to do what you ask them to do. And if they don't do that, that reflects on you. That is why, my friend, you were you were not renewed. That's why. But you're going to get mad over that. I don't, I, I don't know, Mar. This is, this is a very, very ugly situation. Again, he's facing prison time. It's just not looking good, Mario. It really isn't. And, and one more thing I want to mention, he sent a text message to the university and it somehow got out, of, got out of Kentucky. My advice to you guys, see, this is why, this is why, like, in high school, we were always, you know, we always had assembly. I know Mario remembers this, but I don't know about you guys because not all of us went to the same high school. You know, they, they had assemblies about texting and sexting and all that stuff because that stuff traveled. And you got to be very, very careful of what you say. You got to be very, very careful of what you do because everybody's eyes and ears are on you. Understand what I'm saying? Everybody's eyes are on stuff like that because they want a reason to throw you under the bus and be like, this dude was doing this and this dude was doing that. Same deal with the sex scene. You know, a lot, a lot of us had assemblies in the high school telling us not to do that because you send that to the wrong person. God forbid, that's going to everybody else. Now everybody's got your news. You know what I mean? That's why they told us not to do this stuff because of stuff like that. You know what I mean? And it, it's different tier because it's not news, obviously. But you get my point. It's it's accusations and and it's extortion. Now, now this dude's facing prison time because of it. So my advice to you guys is, look, obviously, make the right damn choices. We say this all the time. You know what I mean? But my next advice is be careful what you say to people. You know, because you could be saying something about our school, and that's fine. You know, some people have accusations to bring up, and some people say this and that about a place. But you got to be very, very careful with how you say it, how you put it out there, and who you say it to. Most importantly, because somebody you can say that to the to a person, and that person could take it the wrong way and could make you look like the bad guy here. So you need to be very, very careful what you say to people. We live in a world where that stuff travels like crazy. So, um, yeah, that's really all I got to say. You know. As for Gino Gadio, you know, you you should you should have you shouldn't have gotten that man. And obviously, I'm not saying don't get upset. You know, when when someone loses their job, obviously that is a very unfortunate case. Um, but to take it as far as trying to extort your own damn school and basically try and blackmail them because you didn't get your check, like come on, dude, like like come on, you 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 seriously can't be that mad. Like you're seriously that mad. Like come on, bola, um. As for Kentucky, uh, I do wish them the best of luck in trying to figure this out. And I do apologize that they have to go through something like this because it's very, very unnecessary. Um, again, guys, make the right damn decisions. Be careful of what you say and who you say it to because, you know, again, you know, I don't want you guys getting in kind of trouble like that. But with that being said, it's, it's really the best I got to say. You know, it's, it's just a very unfortunate situation. Yeah, Nate, I agree with you mostly to a certain extent. So, First of all, we'll talk about uh, Dino Gadio. I completely agree with you on that. I mean, this is this is obviously bad. It wouldn't have been as bad as he if he had the video, and he like and he he had the video and he turned it in, you know. But the fact that you're asking for money, that's what turns it into blackmail, you know. And that's you trying to extort money from the university because you just simply got fired, you know. It's pity, you know. You got fired. Look for a different job. Move on. It's as simple as that. But here's the thing. Here's why. Here's where I agree with you to a certain extent. Louisville is not that innocent. They're not. I'm being real. Like, I mean, you look, you read what's going on right here. Louisville, they received a notice of allegations from the NCAA in, 20, in May of 2020. They received a level one allegation, which is involving um, improper recruitment offers from former signee Brian Bowen II and the coach... Um, of another prospect, as well as a three level two allegations, including one against former basketball coach Rick Patino. And the case is still open uh, through the independent accountability resolution process. And Louisville, they are also accused of failing to adequately monitor recruitment of an incoming high profile student athlete. 
And so they, mm. the NCAA, they alleged that uh, Patino, who now coaches at Iona, did not satisfy his head coaching responsibilities when he failed to promote an atmosphere of comp- of compliance. And former assistant coaches Kenny Johnson and Jordan Fair are accused of providing impermissible benefits and transportation and of having impermissible contact with the recruit. So look, Nate, Louisville is not as – Louisville ain't innocent neither, which is why I want to get to the next point too. You got to be careful with what you do as well. And this is going for Louisville. You have to be careful with what you do. Now, I'm not saying what Dino uh, Gladio did was correct. It's not. If he were to turn that into the NCAA, you know, obviously you're kind of like a snitch too, you know, or a rat. But still, if you were to turn it into the NCAA, just to turn it in, you wouldn't have gotten, you wouldn't have been facing no prison time. But the fact that you were like, I'm going to turn this into the NCAA unless you give me my 17 months of salary. Come on, man. Now you're going to prison. OK, because now you're trying to take money out of the university and put it into your own pockets. That right there is selfish. OK, here's the thing. When you see on when you see in an injustice report it. OK, when you see an injustice, do something. OK, so with that being said. Louisville, they had to be careful what they were doing. I think we talked we might have talked about this. I'm not sure because we talked about so many like NCAA violations on this channel um that i couldn't keep track of all of them you know I'm, i mean i will go look through it see if we did talk about it and if so we will mention it but look man i, I gotta be honest with you nate like louisville and dino gadillo they both have issues because like as i said he had the video you know and it did and it did end up going out of kentucky you know so he had the video so when you're ready to look at it nate both of them are to blame okay dino gadillo is using illegal pieces of evidence and instead of just turning it in like a person like like you know a regular citizen would or a normal person would you want money for it you want money you're like well you we're gonna turn this in or else you're gonna pay us money or you're gonna pay me money that's not the way stuff works simple as that okay now louisville's gotta worry about these allegations and these videos now and now they gotta go and now they gotta go and take care of their past okay this is why we say watch what you, okay, make the right choices, okay? Because both of them did not, okay? Now, obviously, like they said, this is a legend. These are accusations. But if Gordillo's video, if this is a legit video, Nate, then Louisville might be under some trouble too. Right, absolutely. I'm glad you mentioned that because I missed that part. Right, because it was right under the whole Gordillo, like, news and everything. But this is the problem. Both of them, Louisville is to blame because they did the wrong things. They broke NCAA rules, okay? Whether you agree with them or not, you have to follow them, okay? Gladio, he is going to, he is in a lot of trouble as it is. Okay. He could have easily, if he wanted to turn it in, you know, turn it in, don't turn it in. Okay. That would be his choice. But if you were to turn it in for free with nothing, with nothing coming to you, then that would have been fine. You know, that wouldn't have been a problem. But if you're going to blackmail them and be like, I'm going to send this, I'm going to send this out unless you give me 17 months of salary. Now you're going to prison because now you're trying to take 17 months of money away from the university. Okay, a university that helps thousands and thousands of students. You're taking that away from them and put it into your own pockets. So I hope he's happy about himself. And as for Louisville, it really is unfortunate because now they got to dig through their past. And now they got to deal with this again. Like they said, they're going to cooperate because obviously these are our, like old allegations and invest and they were still investigating it. Now I think they got a new piece of evidence with Dino Gladio's, you know, with Dino Gladio's videos. If they're going to use that or not, again, that's all to be determined. But with that being said, Nate, I don't know who I'm gonna wish good luck to. I will say this: I wish good luck to the uh, to the uh, law enforcement and to fixing this and solving this. I wish them the best of luck. But as of like Louisville and as of like Dino Godillo, I really can't wish them the best of luck because both of them did stuff wrong here. Suppose that both of them did stuff wrong, and now they're gonna have to pay for it. And now Dino Godillo, like he said, you know, he apologizes, he regrets what he did, and there's no turning back. Which you're absolutely right. But you know what? I hope after like two years, I hope that he can like, even though he might not get a job again. Because I really can't see him having a job in NCAA after this. Hopefully, he learns from this, and hopefully, you know, he uses his experience to, to bring knowledge to others. Like, hey, look, this is not the way to approach things. You got to approach this better. And again, don't do what I did. I hope that's what it is. But with that being said, I really can't wish anybody the best of luck. All I'm, all I'm gonna say is I wish the best of luck to the law enforce to the uh, law officials in this investigation, and hopefully, they they solve the actual case, and hopefully, they fix it.